Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to start SAO Season 3. Season 3 and Season 4 were pretty much the only reason why I think SAO got voted in. Well, some people say that Part 1 of Season 1 was peak, and I do agree. But like a lot of people have been just waiting for this moment. Season 3 and Season 4. Let's see if the hype is real. The animation quality changed significantly, right? There's a new studio doing this? Is that right? Oh, a1? It's A1? Already? The sound effect of him just lifting the axe up was insane. Jesus. Why are we kids now? I have no clue who this blonde kid is. That wasn't as loud. Dude, the sound effects are crazy. Even him falling on his ass there. Oh, that's what the different hit sounds were. The Cyril Water? Yujiro. This is Kirito, probably? Bro got Shotified? So, is Asuna gonna be playing this game? Or is Asuna get replaced by this guy now? Right? Every season, new girl, Asuna gets benched. This time, we get the fanboy, Asuna, benched. Maybe? I don't know. One year, three months. Still barely understanding how to strike? Why is it so hard to get a good hit in? It's our concrete cut down to see Whoa, stay, stay the... <laughs> cool! Well, I don't know. This might be more annoying than cool. Who knows? But before, we'd be like, status. But now he's like, status. Class none, durability. 235,000? That's like the eight points of the tree? Why are we wasting our time cutting the tree for so long? Six generations of carvers with 300. I'm not- we are in a video game right now, right? You're telling me 300 years motherfucker been trying to chop this tree and win you another 900? What? Why are we- This is a worse hell than getting over it. This is a worse hell than fucking playing getting over it. They're forever stuck just chopping this tree forever. What? In a video game for that long? What happened at the end of SEO Ordinal Scale? Uh, the post credit scene was... What was the code name? Ah, fuck, remember? We brought it into a different lab. Oh, I forget the exact code name. And honestly, that, that honestly doesn't give us any ant. Wrath, exactly, wrath. But if we're, like, thinking about different technologies and stuff, maybe we've accomplished a hybrid of AR and VR where, like, fucking in this world, like, time passes at such a different rate that 300 years here is, like, nothing compared to real life. <laughs> Just a bunch of boys being boys, you know? Just horsing around. Just wrestling. Don't let Asuna see this. Oh, he's on top now! <laughs> no more waifus. No more waifus. Oh, we got our fanboys. <laughs> Oh, girl. They're all just kids here? Old man Garitsu is the one that said it's the cut this tree? You know what? This whole premise of SAO is very interesting. I like how they're not, you know, telling us shit. This is like a very good portrayal of like, show don't tell. They're not telling us like, why are they all kids? What's going on here? Is this a video game? It's a completely different SAO immediately dropped into the plot. Who knows what's going on? Status. Is this better than Asuna Sandwich? Better than us in the sandwich conference. Hmm? Let's spend the next 40 minutes 
Bacteria, I think, um, grows at a specific temperature where it's like, you know, it, with the hotter it is, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a range, right? The worst range, you, you want to be either really, really cold or really, really hot. That's where bacteria can't live. But in this mid-range, you know, that's when it, you know, it's, it thrives. Yeah. Forbidden weather altering arts? Integrity night from the Axiom Church with soup right in and spirit you away. Forbidden arts. Weather changing. Axiom Church. Integrity night. Importance. Okay. ゴリゴいっぱいあれば十分に食べられる。そうだよ。ゴリだよ。ゴリを探しに行こう。よ。ゴリなんかどこにある？あって、アイシャ。ドメス。but <笑> The sound effects are fucking insane. It's just my ears are just getting blown out, bro. Let's go into an ice cave and break it off. Okay. Why are we children? Any for child and accompanied by an adult from playing in the earth. We need like guidance. Why are we kids? Oh, come on. You're gonna do this shit right now? Oh, God damn it. One second, one second, one second, one second. Let me redo. Maybe this season of SAO is a brand new game with Wrath where when you start a game, you're like a baby. Like it's an entire new life. And like the adults have been playing for a longer time than we have, and we're relatively new here, is another guess that I could make. But the 300 years of generation, that part's still so weird. People's been cutting this shit for 300 years? Then again, maybe passage of time again. The passage of time must, you know, move differently in this game compared to others due to wrath technology? Taboo index. More rules? How many books are there? Why so many commandments? Now, that's not an isekai map, but it's looking like an isekai map, so it's like... Well, SAO has always been isekai, if you consider a video game world to be a separate world, right? It's all semantics at that point. End Mountain. Dark Terror... <laughs> Jesus! Dude, even the slap on his back, the sound effects, why is A1 picture just creaming in my ears right now? Every single thing they do, it just like... Are we Link ending? Alright, Ju whoa, 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 whoa. Ju July 21st, 372, human era calendar. Again, like a different, separate different world, right? Like our world... At the end of SA Ordinal, right? What was that? That was like still like 2025, 2026 or some shit, right? But this is a whole separate calendar, whole separate world. <laughs> I thought we were getting Medic Boy Super Raids round two electric boogaboo. Oh fuck. Could you imagine? Why would you say that? She only has so much time left. We need to treasure every moment we spend with her. Okay, she's a daughter of the village elder. Okay, but what does that mean? Is that the actual dad and mom? Unless her real mom and dad in real life is also playing earlier. Like, how does this work? She was an actual born from it? Like, what does that mean? Yeah, she was doing, like, sacred art or something. Sacred art. Sacred art. 
で内緒話してるのよ。Your future いいや、なんでも村に帰らないといけないって話してたんだ。そう、そうね。引き返すことにしましょう。そうとなれば、急ぐのよ。I'm、still so confused on what's going on, but very immersed in this completely new world. この村ができたばっかりの頃は、First、たまに闇の国から悪鬼。ゴブリンだの子供をさらったりしたんだぞ<笑>何よ私を怖がらせようとして父が来て退治してくれたんでしょそれからというもの晴れたセントリア must be some kind of empire here from セントリア Okay, integrity knights we already heard it before axiom church we know about the taboo index of things that we're not supposed to do like the commandments here, okay それからというもの晴れた日には果ての山脈のずっと上を飛ぶ白銀の<笑> Is it there? Silver Knight! Oh, oh. In the morning? Was that the knight? I don't know. Is he dropping? Oh, that's a lewd. Alright, we're here. Can't believe we're here just to get icicles to keep our lunch now from spoiling. <laughs> Risking our lives. <laughs> For fucking lunch, ice cooling. Anyways, let's go. Let's do this. とにかくシステムコールジェネレートルミナスエレメントアドヒアザセクロッツねえ確か洞窟に入ってすぐ氷のつららがあるって言ってたよ He's fucking done it The icicles in this tree lord that's I was just It's not winter like why would icicles be in the cave it's like I I don't know I I I don't know man 氷のつららがあるって言ってたよね言っとっけそんなことは言ったユージをちょっと明かりを近づけて It's cold アイスほらさっきから寒いと思ってたアイスコースマイルエクゼスト外は夏だけどこの洞窟の中は冬なんだわもう少し進んでみようねえ本当に白竜に出くわしたらどう大丈夫白竜だってつららを取るくらい許してくれるさしいよなおい何考えてるんだよだってさ。Don't know. <笑> Then would the adults take a seriously? Okay, ice! Take the ice and let's get out of here! これ、この先にもっとあるはずだ Okay, just take the ice and get out! No, no, you have the ice! Stop it! あれは。サウンドチェック going crazy right now! Dragon! Now close the fucking gate behind them and open a boss must. You can't leave. You're stuck in here. Uh huh. Let's do that. Why are you still walking in? You have the ice. Get out. What? Oh, the dragon is dead. And the treasure is, it remains a little bit, but that tre- Okay! Well, what happened in the story with the guy with the knight with the sword? Well, presumably he slayed a dragon, I'm not sure, but this is the remains of a dragon. I just remember something, remember season one? Yo, 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 you remember season one? Fucking, uh, Elizabeth episode. The, the piece of shit, remember that episode? What was the uh, rare material that looks like icicles, right? It was dragon poop. Imagine all of this is also just dragon poop and, them, and they're just gonna be cooling their fucking sandwiches and their lunch with dragon poop. The hero? <gasps> Okay, so that hero, I thought that he slayed Nana. He got away. A, sh a human has already killed it here. Kayaba. Yo, yo, you're jumping to conclusions. Hold the fuck up. Yo, 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 yo. In instead of just immediately blaming an entire faction off of a random guest and saying they're the enemies of humanity, well, the integrity knights probably are shit, right? They probably are trash. They sound like religion, like 
Well, they probably are just like the shitty cops of this world, right? Like, I I'm just gonna go with that, but that's a crazy, just logical jump. He got a sword. What is this? The legendary sword. Blue Rose. Well, a blue rose sword doesn't really sound like it's Kirito's style, because Kirito's the black swordsman, right? I don't think that's really for us then, is it? Well, we can dual wield, actually. We can also dual wield here, probably. Ow! Fuck you! It's not even that loud! Every time there's a sound effect, it's a fucking jump scare! This is actually annoying! Actually stupid! Why is it so fucking loud? Yep, uh oh, I hear something. We're lost. I don't know. We're lost. It's, it's over. Because, like, beyond the cave, what is it? The kind of dark continent, right? Oh. Uh... Ah, uh, no, no, we definitely did it. We definitely did it. Oh, you. Oh. Damn, this running animation is crazy. Why is this guy red? You ever play Elden Ring? This is like, this is like stepping into fucking Kaelid, right? Why is this guy red? This is not the same map that I'm used to. What's going on? I mean, the episode title is called The Underworld, so I'm going to assume that this is The Underworld. Just go back, dumbass. Run, walk backwards. What are you doing? Just, just walk backwards. Just go up the same way. Silver Knight. Silver Knight? Uh, Black Knight? Silver Knight? Dragons? Is it? Why, just, just, just because they're white, they're good, and it's because they're black, that's bad? Come on, come on, come on, man. Come, this racist ass anime. Ooh, look at that breath attack. Dark Knight, no! Oh, we got an arrow on top of that? So get king! Damn. Dust. Now what? Loot him and let's run. Loot his gear and get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, he's watching us. Help me. Wait, 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 wait. You shouldn't do that. She instinctively started walking. Did you actually just fall? This dumb bitch said, you can't run, you're gonna fall. You were walking and you fell. Wonder why she felt the need to reach out there though. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Touch that! <laughs> she made it. No, I think that's. Is that how. Well, don't both feet have to fucking be planted? No, as long as the ball gets across. Anyway, it's the fucking. She's touching the dark territory. Taboo. You, you can't do this, right? Is it, is it bad? Is it against the, you know, the, the taboo index? Taboo index! What happens if you cross a taboo index, though? No one gotta know. We're not gonna snitch. I, I, I don't know how it works. Bald! Oh no! Is this the system admin? You're gonna say, No, 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 you broke the taboo index! Banish! Uh oh. Report complete. 
That's interesting though, huh? So it's like a game system, some kind of AI. Think of it like Yui, but Yui's here to fucking snitch. Also, I wonder if Yui's gonna show up this season. Probably not. Probably never gonna see Klein. Probably never gonna see their regular SAO members again, huh? I don't even know. All right, let's go back home. All four cooling sandwiches. For a hypothetical situation. Like, we could just eat the sandwich. Like, this is so dark. Like, you risked her entire life. Now she's, like, taboo now. The system's, like, marked her. All for the icicles. This is on you, Kirito. We're never seeing her. Look forward to tomorrow's lunch. You should have just walked away. You just, this is a flag. Like, he's done. She's not showing up. We're next, we're getting over. No more lunches, okay? Oh boy, I hope the icicles were worth it. Also, these dumbasses. What are you going to do after you have the icicles? Are you going to put it in a fucking freezer? Shit's going to melt. What was the point of getting the icicles? That was the most contrived, pointless reason of going into the cave. Oh, for a fucking, what are you going to do with the icicles? Where are you going to keep them? It's going to melt. You need icicles for the icicles now? What are we going to... Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> this is pretty much premonition. <laughs> Jesus, the tree chopping fucking sounds, man. But there's like this different sound sometimes. Dragon! Same guy? In oh, Tangri Nights? <laughs> Probably! <laughs> you crossed the line! He got... oh, why? Shit! Run, Aris! Uh, village chief? Well, he's part of the church, so they're all evil pieces of shit, right? Axiom Church, I'm just gonna assume they're all garbage. But it's interesting how, like, the Dark Knight, as soon as he fell and he reached out for Alice, Alice responded just like that, as if it was just, like, in her blood to do it. There must be some... I mean, the churches are always evil in these shows, right? So I'm just gonna assume the, this guy's trash. Execute! <laughs> they don't fuck around here, huh? Like, they do... Like, the taboo index. Like, you really can't go against it. You commit one wrong thing. Thou shalt not litter. It's like, hee hee hee. Litter. The fucking axiom that's all just swarming with dragons. Oh my god. Oh! It's only book one. How many books are there? For that dumbass icicles, man. Melt away, you stupid ass icicle. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. Do, right? Like, is the dad just gonna die? <laughs> this is fucked that he's shackling her up like that. Oh my god. No, Alice! She just wanted to make lunch! Yeah, Crossover? <laughs> At this point, if I was the blood, could I be like, no! No! <laughs> not me! No! Fuck that guy! No, 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 these two idiots did it, I'm gone. <laughs> what are you- You trying to rope me in this shit too? You're crazy! Where are we running? They can trace us! Oh, Lord! 
we going in? <laughs> what the fuck? How the projectile will attack just from his head? <laughs> Say what you will about the Integrity Knights, but like, yo, these dudes are way cooler than, you know, the army? Y'all remember the army squad in season one that was supposed to be like the guardians of the fucking SAO, but they were trash? Like, these are the real cops, bro. Like, these dudes, I'm like completely intimidated by this guy, right? I have no idea who he is. And he's probably, I don't know, maybe he's like a higher ranking integrity knight, but like, damn, these dudes are serious. I'm intimidated. <laughs> I mean, they can't do it. Yo, you're gonna drag her? You could play. <laughs> He's really gonna fly with her hanging down the entire time. <laughs> These integrity knights are not fucking around. Eat the grass. Yujiyo, my boy. <laughs> oh, the hockey. <laughs> no, that's different. What's going on with Yu-Gi-Oh's eyes? He's activating the Sharingan! Un unless, like, the AI cops are, like, fucking locking into his, like, character and, like, controlling him. Or something's awakening in him. I don't know what it is. He's awakening! We got eye powers! What does that say? It it's random letters. I have no clue! It, it said code something, though. If you read the bottom line backwards, C O D E, not Giaz, code 871? 12Y Z T E M A L E K. I don't know, but this code 871? <laughs> She's really getting dragged. That was. That was the same system alert? That happens to Aris, right? What did the AI Baldi say? Did the Baldi say code 871? That's interesting if that's the case, because Yu-Gi-Oh's eyes is now having like the same detection? I forget. Wanna go back? 2351. 2351? When does Baldi show up? Right over here. Let's look at this scene here. Hello, Baldi. Oh, there's nothing there. I don't know. It's just... He, he, he just has, like... These eyes? Hold up, hold up. Where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Uh, go, 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 go. A little bit more, a little bit more. He has, like, this Gias like power. He can, like, sense... Is he also an AI? Why would his eye suddenly start bugging out, saying like she's like a system code eight seven where system alert? Aris is a danger. Yu-Gi-Oh is not Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh is like somehow part of the system, just like the AI. I don't know. Bye, Alice. Link end! Link end! We're back! Completely new lab. Very high tech. Underworld. Dun dun dun. Hey, June 27. Now we're back in present time, 2026. Shino! Are we GGO right now? Okay, okay! Let's see how well animated Shino butt crack is now. Two. Yo, look at the party list right over here. Shinon Klein lives with Silica Kitty to Asuna. Oh, where is. Oh, Silica's there. No, no, no. But again, it's always. Yeah, fuck. Tiffany never plays with us, man. Klein? Who's 
Everyone's driving. Oh, there's a turret. There's a turret. Wait, what did he just say about the gun? It's like a Alpha Tanegashima. It's the name of it, but he's like a samurai, right? So I was thinking maybe there's like a samurai inspired gun or some shit, like a Japanese gun. I don't know. Elizabeth and the other seat? This is the ship, man. Elizabeth and Clyde, that is the ship. Jesus. Where's Asuna at? Oh, there she is. She's here. Ooh, hair tied up, Asuna. And she's also using the laser sword like Kirito was doing in GGO, huh? Random GGO dudes. They're just random NPCs that I don't have to worry about, right? I don't think any of these guys are Zaza, man. Jesus! Fuck me! That's loud! Oh, we saw a similar animation in the battle at the end of GGO with Zaza, right? Remember? I remember there was like a bullet time going in direct comp comparison like that. That's crazy, dude. Jesus! Slow pump! He got away! Oh, he's so cool smoking in a video game. <laughs> like, think about this for a second. Like, what was the whole purpose of the cigarette? Like, bro, there was, it's a fucking fake cigarette in a fake fucking video game. Like, he thought he's so cool. <laughs> so extra. Bossu. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Red Eyes of Oh! It's him! It's him! <laughs> Dude, it's him! Oh! He's f where, where did the mask go? You know what? The cigarette makes a lot of sense because remember the fucking, uh, the, the skull mask? And every time it'd be like Darth Vader, like smoke coming out. There is no utility, no function needed for that mask. It just was because he wanted to be extra and chewy. The cigarette also the same shit, but this is Red Eye Zaza, huh? Holy shit. Oh, we finally see his face. And Red Eye Zaza calls this guy boss. He's gotta be the guilt leader of Laughing Coffin. Now, I don't think Johnny Black... I don't think Johnny Black was, you know... So Zaza in season 2 was fake? No. We've never seen Zaza's face. He got away, remember? There was technically two Zazas. The younger brother was a creepy dude that we, like, you know, defeated, right? This is Red Eye Zaza that we've never seen before. Assuming that this is the GG of Zaza. Did he get caught? No. I don't fucking remember. Hey, retard, stop fucking saying things that I shouldn't know. You know who you are. Zaza was caught? Was he? I thought like the younger brother was obviously got detained and then the older brother got away and I thought that this is the older brother but all of a sudden all, all of a sudden it's like hold the fuck up what could it happen I mean this is clearly red eye Zaza I know Zaza is a medical kid's brother and I thought the medical kid got detained and then the older brother got away and this is the older brother but it's like if the older brother also got detained the brothers got caught he wrote Kitty to a letter? When the fuck did that happen? We got a we got a letter from Zaza? The other one brother got caught and the other got away and then the I thought the other one was this guy. Yeah, the other Zaza got away. Well Hold the fuck up. Wasn't there like three Zazas now that I think about it? No, the the, the argumentation was like Pale Rider and other dudes were away. Anyways. 
There's like multiple Zazas. This is, this is another Zaza. しかし噂に聞いてたけどハードなゲームだな、ジーってんだからよ。けど、いくら自由にPKできるって言ってもさっきはお金とかアイテム狙いだけど。いや、マスナーにGGOめ。そうね。でも現れる時はいいコードロン
I feel like it's fraudulent. You just want Kirito and Bob Fire to take down satellites so you can take first place? I mean, fuck. I mean, we could just do Bob 3 all over again. Who knows? Okay. Wonder why, I wonder why this is getting set up now. Like, I'm surprised we're going so much like GGO stuff, even though we're supposed to be in like a leashization. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, right, the handgun thing. I remember she used to, you know, really be scared when someone did this to her, but now it's just like she's all good now. He doing. The creepy guy? Ew! Fuck him! Wait, 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 are you serious? You're keeping in touch with that dude? Shinkawa was the medical. Nah, no redemp. Ew, why? Why are you visiting? I would cut that shit off immediately and run the fuck away. Is it? We saw another Zaza. The guy we saw earlier. Yo, Egyo, say something. Oh my god. Are they? Did they actually not pay Egyo's voice actor so he just fucking exists here just to be the bartender guy? Like, he just made a face here. Like, they did this shit before too in season 2, but Egyo had no lines. Nothing. He just existed just standing. This sucks. This sucks. I wish he was more involved in the story. He exists only to, for us to have dumbass fucking meetings at his bar, bro. Or have parties, bro. And yeah, this shit's gotta be racist, man. Hey, yo, say something! Did he say... Oh. Let's listen really quickly. Did he say... Oh. <laughs> That oh, was a little bit. I heard the oh, but was that synced with? Was that was that? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't even synchronized with his face. Asna, konnichiwa. Daigokai B.O.B. no ken. Nah, they didn't even pay him for that one sound effect. Nah, 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 nah. nah. They had some random ass to say oh, so they could just get away with it. Didn't even pay. <laughs> this just gotta be racist. <laughs> so. あんただけじゃ暴走しそうでちょっと不安だったから制御装置的な意味くん。あなた優しいじゃない。あ、すみません、earlier Dude, if this technology got introduced, imagine all the fucking people, like... Four, 5G tower, uh, b b fucking Bill Gates, fucking vaccine chip, we're getting implanted, brother! Oh my god, could you imagine the amount of people that would lose their minds after, you know, like, confidential, like, you know, you implant chips and monitor people's data, like, oh my god. Anti-cheating system. <laughs> oh, not anti-cheating in terms of gaming. Anti-cheating as in him being unfaithful to. Well, that shit should have been going off on every season. Nah, he's not really cheating. It just seems like, you know, the Asuna's getting replaced. He's not. Yeah. So, what? Is there gonna be a moment where Asuna's gonna be looking at the phone and Kirito's heartbeat's gonna stop and it's like, oh, it's not beating as fast! Oh no! Alright, this is for Bob 5 plans. Yeah, let's hear about it. Wrath! Rat new company, got it. All right, and that's what's you know in the SA ordinal scale. So now it's not a game; it's a what? Brain machine interface for a new full dive system. Be so immersed, you're literally like isekai, and you like you live it from like birth. Like what? Das. A secret behind the doors. Egil ain't saying shit though. Egil say something. I don't know how to explain it. 
It's like you're living a different life as a child. What? How convenient! Koyoverse wishes they had this technology. Because everyone always leaks, right? Beta testers, they always leak and shit. Like, leakers are like Hoyoverse's like, worst nightmare. They wish they had this tech. Uh-huh. Agma! So we're at ordinal scale! No, but it obviously uses some technology of Agma that was using it, right? Because at the end, right, of ordinal scale, the scientist was saying, behold, you know, wrath, it's like a new technology beyond, you know, what we currently have. What the fuck is a flux light? Oh, of course! The fuck, yeah. Soul translator technology! You're inscribing your soul into, like, digital world conscious. So, like, that's what Kayaba did, right? Is that what Kayaba did? Maybe what Kayaba did was, like, a very prototype version and he just fucking YOLO'd it. But now we have the technology to... And... Yuki, if Yuki just had this, if Yuki could have just lived a couple of years longer, she could have just translated her soul forever into the digital world and we could be having more fun. But unfortunately, we had to deal with fucking Medicubine! Man, technology like this is actually so compelling. Like, could you imagine a future where you're no longer bound by your physical carcass that you never even asked for, right? All the playing fields are leveled out. You transfer your consciousness into the digital world and you kind of like live there and exist. So full of limitless possibilities. Like it sounds like, again, like this technology, who knows if it'll ever come to life. Is it impossible? It's pretty much science fiction, but like, it'll happen in two years according to the SAO. Well, maybe not two years, but in 20 years? I don't know. My goal in life is to live long enough to the point where technology exist where I can transfer my consciousness into the digital world, like Kaiba. That's my life goal. The soul? No, it's stored in the balls. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell! What's beyond the tubes? <gasps> Okay. Interesting. At, at least they're actually giving us like pseudoscience to back up their like logic in this, right? So the idea is in your brain cells, at like a, such a cellular level between these hollow pipes, you know, light exists and that could be defined as a soul. You know what? That's a pretty fucking good way of explaining what a soul could be because like what is a soul at the end of the day, right? It is this abstract entity that is separate from like your life like you are you have a body and you have a soul inside but your body has organs and stuff like what is a soul but at least they're they're trying to you know, give a fuck and give an explanation maybe imagine this is actually true in real life <laughs> makes sense if flux light is the soul yeah Yes, so let the brain send the signals. Interesting. Two way. ST. And that's how they're able to manipulate the memories too, just like remove it. Oh. Yeah. Hell no, it's not safe. That's why we're testing it. I'm gonna do it again. Yep. Dreams that become reality. Yeah, I do. That's right. That's why the the um the passage of time is different, right? That's why it's like we're a kid and we and then we got like fucking adults and like people have been doing this cutting the tree for like three hundred years and stuff. This all makes sense. Cool. 
フラクトライトアクセラレーションフラクトライトアクセラレーション That is like beyond just this technology of like implanting your soul or translating it such that you can live in a different world in a video game like that is like immersed The fact that the time spent there is less than the time spent in real life like like 10 years in that game could be like two hours in real life like that technology is insane that's like hyperbolic time chamber shit man this is crazy man i feel so bad for a girl man look at this dude bro is just having this is his idle animation right now bro a girl right now at the bottom left is just fucking idle animation this is so sad Like, why can't you have a g l e s o m e saying, like, oh, for rock to right acceleration? Oh, my wife actually knows a little bit about that. I don't know. Fucking do something with him. He turned into an NPC. He's straight up just an NPC. So we have STL and we have FLA. FLA is the mechanic of different passages, times trans differently. STL is the fucking soul translation, whatever. All right, let's go. Three days of diving. Since he was in birth to like child. Oh, he just spawned as a show. Man, I wonder who Yujiro is. Now, now, now I'm thinking like these are the questions I should be thinking, right? Because like these are other app tests can. Well, assuming they're real people, that's another thing that we don't know about, right? It's like, are they all divers? Why would. Because, like, think about it. This technology is so rare. Kirito is fucking alpha testing for this. Like, secret, secret confidential technology. They're not going to be handing this shit to random people, right? So maybe they are just like sentient NPCs. Yujiro's eyes had like that alert system alert thing happening too, which was like, yo, is this like guy like the Yui of this show? Is like an AI? Hmm. Not dark territory. Underworld. That's why Alice actually looked like. I was gonna make that comment. Alice, his, her entire outfit with the basket, it looked like Alice in the uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. I'm like, no way, but they're actually doing that. The icicles, bro. Alice is getting tortured right now, being questioned, ready to be executed. And like the more time he spends outside here, like imagine how much time has. Yo! Next time we link start, what happens? Five years pass? Ten years pass? Time skip immediately when we fucking link start? What's gonna happen? <laughs> Fuck you! No! That's not Egil's voice actor. They didn't pay him shit. Nah, it's a random dude. It's a random dude. So just make sure you sound like him and say, oh, oh. <laughs> no, nah, nah. That is so disrespectful to Egil's character. Nah, dude. That's not him. <laughs> She no no? She no no? That's a cute nickname. Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, yeah. the, the, the Integrity Knights! <sighs> But... Wait! This is the Super 8 soundtrack, right? Stop it! I hate this soundtrack! It makes me sad! Kirito -kun. No, Yuki! <laughs> America? America? What? Alright. We're going to America, baby. I had a lot of hype. Okay, that's the world. Oh. All right, America trip, couple trip, let's go. But if she doesn't have a character in SA, like, is she gonna be a playable character in Elysization, the underworld? Because, like, if there's, if, if she's not gonna be full diving, what's she gonna be doing in America? Like, what, what the fuck is she gonna be doing? Oh, kiss. Oh, this is a loot. Wow! But, Soul Translator, I don't want to study the soul. That's 
あれはなんていうかただ人間を仮想世界にフルダイブさせるための危険の意識フラクトライトを知るためのマシンなのかも Maybe it's a machine to learn the truth about humanity itself and what a soul is? マシンなのかもそれにさ延長線上にあるマシンだとかやば団長の10000 people? 6000 survivors roughly SA を使って何千人もの Mass murderer! ザシードなんて Wait, what are you saying? What Why that guy using the- Oh! That's funny that the author is saying this shit because like the author himself didn't fucking know, right? He's just like, <laughs> Why did you do this, Kaiva? Uh. <laughs> the seed. <laughs> it's like, the fuck? It's a bug, not a feature. It's a, it's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> he just did it for fun. <laughs> right? Why he burned out his own brain? Well, he probably, he probably fucked that shit up. So here's, here's my, here's my, um. So let's just assume that Kaiba is not some this like omnipotent godlike figure, just an average dude. He just, he basically created a bug and he was like, oh shit. 4,000 people died. I'm cooked. Oh no. Well, how am I gonna? I don't wanna go to jail. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna try to YOLO and plant my soul into the digital world. And that's why he burned out his own brain, is my fucking guess. And then why is scattered something like the seed all over the place after that? Um. Probably because, well, that part is like, he just wants to see, like, more development of his work be at play. And Kirito is like the perfect vessel for that. That's why he gave Kirito the seed as well. それを知りたい気はするいつまでもあいつの手のひらで踊らされているような気がするからな団長の意識とキリト君あいつが自分のコピーを残した目的は今ラースが STL でやろうとして、hmm. あすみません I don't like this, I don't like this I don't like this Good キリト君 He looks sketchy as fuck お前大シーカフェのそばにいたな無理か誰だ Hey, hey, you know my name? Zaza! Zaza, no, yet, got scammed, I'm not the girl. Oh, I got conjured, me, go no, he told it to stay. Wait, 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 and only one of them is around, and we saw from the earlier scene in GGO, the guy that was smoking the cigarette guy, right? I'm gonna assume that that guy is this, or is he actually the medical kid's, you know, brother that's still out? I'm not sure, but Zaza? Last survivor. Johnny Black! Johnny Black! Johnny Black! This is Johnny Black! Oh! Zaza no yatsu ga tsukamachi matta kara! Ore ga konjo o misenai to desu! Last survivor. Johnny Black is here! Johnny Black! I just could never take Johnny Black seriously because of this one frame here. Like, when I saw Johnny Black being depicted as this guy in a fucking cat ear paper bag, I was like, this guy's not scary. This is just cunny, you know? This is just straight up cunny, but he's looking like a menace now. Johnny Black! We don't have a sword! <laughs> He's still holding the pose like that. No, no, we had the whole training. No, uh, uh, we're ordinary skill. We trained hard and beat that motherfucker who was buffed up on his jacket. That was like power suit. We should be OP. Oh, that's the umbrella he was holding there like that. Oh, is that the same thing that Zaza was using? Really? It's the same shit again? <laughs> Death Gun and Death Gun. That's actually kind of... <laughs> I don't think they ever branded this as Death Gun and GGO, right? Because Death... Because, like, this is, like, the medical technology used to inject the, you know, the fucking poison. But, like, this is called... Death Gun! <laughs> Death Gun! <laughs> Well, there goes America trip. And if the only way, well, there's no way Kirito's gonna die. I'm sure they're gonna use some kind of technology around, right? So now this is a reason to keep Kirito full dived permanently. Well, not permanently, but for the duration of how long it takes him to recover the body. I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, that's um episode one, and that's the, that's the season. Kirito's dead. I hope you had a fun time watching.
If you're still... No, he's not dead. Come on. <laughs> you think he's just gonna die? That's season four of this. Of course he's not gonna die. Now, let's talk about what's going on earlier, right? So, this is an entirely new immersive world used by, you know, the rat company to do STL, like, they're tr like translating souls. It's such an immersive experience. I was, like, fully, fully immersed into this first part. This first half, the second half wasn't bad, but the first half was just, like, so different from this standard essay that I'm used to, right? Because every essay was like, all right, what's the new game? What's the new technology? Let's get in. But here, we were just immediately thrown in with this mysterious way of like he's a kid now why is there all these different rules what's going on nothing's making sense i love the whole show don't tell way of you know storytelling the first half and of course we're gonna have to do the explanation in the second half so it's a new game uh addis is probably dead already right because we've been spending way too much time outside who knows how well addis is doing but she is uh she crossed the taboo you cannot cross a taboo in there so you go fucking die. Yuchio activated the Gias in his eye. What is it really? He could see system alert code 871. It's making it look like he's some kind of AI cardinal system equivalent like Yui. I'm not sure. Then there was some stuff with GGO, you know, um, set up. Good to see the rest of the gang. Agil not talking. Kills me. But Kirito is the one that's looking to be killed. Johnny Black finally shows up and just he uses a death gun on Kirito. Honestly, hilarious. They called it a death gun as soon as they pulled out the fucking injection thing. And there's no way Kirito's gonna die. If anything, this is probably gonna be an excuse to use like Medicu board or different types of full dive technology to keep, you know, Kirito like... I don't know. Linked started without logging off for a long end of the time to make sure that we're not gonna, you know, get out of the game and break the immersion of, you know, this first half. That's my best guess. Anyways, that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.